Next up, let's discuss the major pentascale. Where we left off with our major scales is Do, Re, Mi. We talked about tones being the distance between two notes with one note in between, and semitones, the distance between just two notes right beside each other. So where we left off was Do, a starting note, in this case C, moving up a tone to Re, moving up a tone to Mi. If we continue up one semitone, from there we would get Fa, and if we continue up one more tone, we would get our so. Again, I'm not saying soul, I find it very clunky, so a Western adaptation over time has been to say so, so you can expect me to be saying so. All right, so we have do, re, mi, fa, so. And again, starting on our first note, not calling it a tone, it's simply a starting place. There's no second note to make it a tone yet. So we could just say Do or C. From here, we go up a tone, tone, semitone, tone. So three tones, one semitone. It appears that tones are a little bit more important as these building blocks, as they are used a little bit more. Maybe we wouldn't say they're more important, but semitones seem to be a little bit more special and used a little bit more rarely. To be clear, this pentascale, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, is not the same as a pentatonic scale. As you clever folk out there might know, penta means five, so we're simply taking the first five notes of a major scale or a minor scale, giving us the major pentascale or the minor pentascale. A pentatonic scale does have five notes, but it's constructed very differently. As a very brief overview, if our full major scale looks like this, C all the way up to C, we've eliminated F or Fa or scale degree four, and B, or what we could say is T, or scale degree number seven. Now, we do have an extra Do up top and on the bottom, so if I eliminate that extra Do, you can see we have five notes. Used in Asian traditional folk music, Irish traditional folk music, even wind chimes. It's hard to play wrong notes, just listen. Just noodle around in those pentatonic scales and they sound fine. Even the wind can play that scale. So again, I'm differentiating that pentascale is simply the first five notes of a major scale or a minor scale. If you like the sound of that pentatonic scale, down the line I will be doing more courses like these using more advanced scales. It's important to note that at this stage of things, we can now start ear tests on Do, Mi, or So. Do, Mi, so, put them together, you have a major chord. And these are essentially tonal pillars. These are the places where the other notes want to move. I think of them like magnets. Now, not everything is always going to be attracted to a magnet, but they have a pull. So any note that is not one of the magnets is a piece of scrap metal. And you have to ask, which magnet is that piece of scrap metal closest to? That is often where that note will want to resolve. So Ray is equidistant between Do and Mi, so it will likely pull to one of those two solfege syllables. Quite honestly, usually it'll fall down to Do, and I believe that's because humans are kind of lazy, right? We take the path of least resistance so often, so to sing more flat, for example, with a choir, is easier than to sing more sharp. So Re down to Do is an easier resolution. We could also think of it like gravity and the magnet working together to pull down to Do. Fa is a semitone away from Mi, and it is a tone away from So. So it will very often move down to Mi, but So is also an option. We'll find later that La can pull down to So, and T can pull up to Do. I digress. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here, but I just wanted to mention that since we're now introducing starting our ear tests on Do, Mi, or So, I wanted to outline why those notes are so significant outside of the fact that they do create our home base chord. In this case, if we're starting with C as our Do, they provide a C major chord. So there's all the information that you're going to need to know about your major pentascale before moving forward. I'll see you at the next class.